and to us. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it was that big already. Okay, Cash. Yes, I didn't realize it was that many followers of OK Cash. Yeah, it's, wow. it's crazy what's happened. And it, it was all built step by step, and now it's getting momentum. And people are joining from all the servers. Every day there are new members. Talk about a following. Now, I'm guessing, I don't know if you were with him from the beginning, when he first came up with the idea, they're like, no, 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 Bitcoin will beat you, or, you know, bigger currencies will beat you. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you don't want to try and do this, or, well, think of all the things that could go wrong, you know, A, B, and C. Did you have that opportunity with him? Well, I wasn't uh, there uh, from the beginning, <clears throat> but I joined, I think, like nine or ten months ago where it was still very, very small. But there were already, uh, yes, yeah, some followers. And a, a, lot, a lot of people said, uh, what, what are you doing here? Why is it special? Why do you think you can compete uh, with Bitcoin? But uh, Toshi said that he never wanted to compete. He, he called it uh, the Bitcoin's grandson, okay? So he didn't have that uh, competition thought in mind. And he kept on working, working, working. Yeah, and now, now it's getting bigger. I think it it went. I I got in when it was like 80k market cap, and now it's already 300k market cap. What proves him right, in my opinion. Yeah, and then actually, here's the funny thing, because of Zuckerberg and Ned Scott, it inspired me. And then I know that there'll be people who say no to start creating my own social network and my own currency in the future. The interesting thing about that is, before, I wouldn't have gone and tried to get the support, but now in the age of people creating their own things, and I, I started seeing this, I say, I'm going to enlist support. I'm going to build a following because I have a dream of something, and I know I have people following me, and I can look back in the past and see these folks who are ridiculed, I might get ridiculed, but that's not going to stop me. I'm going to be the best example I can be. Exactly. With yeah. the sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> Always feel free to ask when you need some help with coins and, you know. I definitely we're, will. We're here. We're here. <laughs> oh, I definitely will, dude. But yeah. Do they have a cannabis coin? Yeah, there are cannabis coins. Really? Yeah, there I'm are a... some, some kind of uh, cannabis coins. But as far as I know, there is no real uh, development behind it. But you can buy and wait for a pump and dump. <laughs> yes. No. All right. Well, cannabis, if, if I, I'm in if favor I can, of cannabis. If I can say something about... Uh, the altcoin and Bitcoin world. There are only a few coins that are uh, working hard, and th th the top two coins I'm invested in is uh, Game Credits and OK Cash. If you want to invest in something else, just tell it because we're talking about it. Do your research, of course. Well, I'm going to bring us back around to point number six knowing when to give up. Now, don't take that the wrong way because I don't agree with everything in this point, but Rick Kelly says, I know we are taught through motivational stories that we can achieve whatever we put our minds to and make our dreams come true. But, as Robert Fritz says, goal attainment is linked to current reality. Give up on those big unrealistic dreams that suck up your energy and creativity and set achievable aspirations, otherwise that elastic band will keep snapping in your face. Well, I don't know how much I agree with that. I do think that you, when you start off small, you can keep growing. Get you can keep on growing exponentially, and then you can set higher dreams and higher goals for yourself. Once you have that momentum behind you, you can do whatever you want. I, I agree with that. I mean, that's not unreasonable to say. It's not giving up on the whole thing. Someone gave me a wise comment. He said, never give up on your dream, but
but you can give up on methods that don't work. And you can also give up on dreams that are ridiculous. Like if I say, I want 500,000 subscribers in one day, or I want 500 million, or I want a billion views in one day. And then I'm like, whoa, I don't have it. Or if I go to the gym and do one exercise, I'm like, man, this is a scam. I'm not jacked. I mean, th there has to be some reasonable goals of like, if I'm in this kind of shape, I can't become fit in a month or a week. <laughs> and and that's kind of what helps people because I can also go the other side of motivation and be like, you can absolutely do anything a anywhere and then people will go crazy because they're trying to achieve things or they're trying to shoot so high and there is some kind of a realistic goal that you do want. Doesn't mean you give up. Doesn't mean you say, no, I'm giving up on my dream. It means you set reasonable goals like, oh, okay, I want more view I want maybe 200,000 views <laughs> or I want to create 500 videos in a year or 200 videos in a year well, how many instead are we of a at? day 200 something we're not at 300 yet we, we, we should try to get to 300 before the end of June, this year that would be cool we need about, we need about uh, what do we need I can go look yeah, I think I think for me it's been important to reach one goal at a time because you can't you can't reach more than one at a time because then you get scatterbrained and you try and multitask and you try and clump too many things together one thing at a time. That's what's worked best for me. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree because I think that's a problem with most. I used to be like, oh, I'm going to accomplish 50 things. and that, But you can, I can only do one thing at a time, and I have to be realistic. I can't necessarily make 10 videos a day. I can't, at this point, get hundreds of, of millions of, of views. That doesn't mean never. That means I give up on the idea right now and then I set a more tangible idea work with that accomplish that and then I set it higher but it's not giving up on the dream completely it's giving up on the goals that seem unrealistic or the goals that I say I'm probably not gonna hit this in all reality and when I do that I can be honest with myself a lot of these steps about dreams to reality, even though that sounds far. It's really being honest with yourself. It's using some of your creative abilities to see further in the head, but you have to be honest with yourself if you're going to move ahead. Exactly. I and think when you, when you get a little bit of wind in your sails, uh, with every gust of wind you get in your sail, it makes you go that much faster, that much further. And you have to appreciate the little steps that you build your momentum with. Yep. 